the 8th of March and I'm starting week 2 of my 300 kilometers challenge and today I <laughs> surprise surprise did a 10k again actually I wanted to split this time uh, <coughs> in a smaller morning rather than later uh, in the afternoon but uh, I heard the weather forecast that there will be uh, wet snow later in the day and I'm not sure I would want to run through such weather conditions so I actually just took what it takes and run the whole 10k again in one go. See you tomorrow! The snow has fallen during the night and I'm finally splitting my run into two runs. Seven kilometers now in the morning and we'll see three or four kilometers in the afternoon probably. And I'm running in the afternoon. Such a beautiful day. The 10th of March, sunny but cold day, minus 8 degrees Celsius and I run 6.2 kilometers today and it will be enough for today actually because the day after tomorrow I have a race, tomorrow I am not running at all and yeah, nice run. I found this uh, bracelet from uh, 2014 where we participated in the world championships of 100 kilometers and team Latvia we all supported Ukraine by wearing those uh, bracelets so now eight years have passed and the bracelet is very topical again so yeah, let's meet not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow in a race. It's the 12th of March and look at this beautiful weather. And today I am participating in a race again, second race of this year. And this time it's again Masters race, actually Masters Games it's called. And it's an indoor race in Valmiera, the city where I grew up my home city so it's always a pleasure to race here to run here and I'm participating in two distances today 800 meters in the morning and then at, uh, 1500 meters in the evening all right let's do it Sunday, the 13th of March, and I'm still in Valmiera, 
my home, hometown where I grew up. Yesterday I ran a race here, two races actually. And today, this is again a beautiful morning, sunny, about zero degrees. And I'm running a 10k loop or so. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, nice running. Go for a plunge, you know? Yeah, why not? Oh, a nice plunge in the river Goya together with outgoing ice. It has been eight and a half kilometers about till this uh, place running today and well one and a half kilometers left about till 10k so I'll run a bit more and then back to home Actually, truth to be told, this, exactly this, could be the best place in the world. <laughs> And today I'm wrapping up this video of the second week of my March challenge 300 kilometers in March And as you can see it's a beautiful day again And I think it's about 7 degrees already So the spring might just be around the corner
So, that's it for this week. 10.9 kilometers today and exactly 60 kilometers this week. A bit less than expected, of course, because I didn't run the day before the race and I only run 6.2 kilometers the day before that. But it's okay. I think I will be able to regain my lost kilometers in the next two weeks. So, considering everything, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Thumbs down if you run exactly 60 kilometers every single day and you have done it for at least a year. So you are thinking of me now that I'm some weak guy. <laughs> of course you can thumbs down this video if that's the case. But anyways, you should subscribe to my channel and see you in another video. Bye bye.